What's up, Internet? Reviewing more Deep Cool coolers today. Yung last na Deep Cool na review natin, yung very excellent LS720. Ganda ng performance noon and very good price. You get very good value for your money. To be honest, I like reviewing the Deep Cool coolers because masasabi ko talaga, full honesty, that they're very good. Good performance and good value for money. And the LS720 isn't that expensive compared to other AIOs, but that's not the most entry-level cooler available from Deepcool. Aware naman sila sa market segment, so syempre lahat tayo may iba-ibang budget. We might want to save a little bit on the cooler para mas mahal yung graphics card or we can put the money to more RAM. So ito mga coolers na pinadala ni Deepcool ngayon, a bit more entry-level, a bit more budget, a bit lighter on the wallet, but is their performance still good? We have the whole family here, the AG400, the AG620, and the LE500. Sa testing natin to lahat, at makita natin kung mas mababa nga yung budget, mas mura sila, pero kung okay pa ba yung performance nila. So, since medyo entry-level nga itong mga coolers na to, we don't really expect them to be cooling very, very hot CPUs. Trinay namin ibaga yung test bench na ginamit namin to these coolers. So, we used an Ryzen 5 5600. Which is, you know, a very decent CPU. It generates a fair amount of heat, but not too much. Hindi naman siya impierno, hindi naman siya furnace. But it's also the kind of CPU na pwede sa stock cooler, pero kung may konting budget pa, usually you add a third-party cooler just to get that extra bit of comfort, that extra bit of performance na kaya from a third-party cooler. So we're fully expecting all of these guys actually to do a good job. And to be honest, baka hindi nga sila mas stress masyado dun sa 5600. Although yun yung common CPU or medyo around that range of CPU yung karaniwan na gagamitin mo with them. As usual for our testing methodology, we ran the CPU at full load for 30 minutes and then recorded the max temp reached as well as the average temperature recorded. The brand sent us these items for review but had no say in what we had to say about them. Windows. Pero saan ko kuha ng legit Windows? Daming options, daming prices. Ah, ito. Buti na lang, may cdkeyoffers.com. Madali lang ang order. Search for the software you need, add to cart, daan ka sa payment options nila. Wala pang 5 minutes, finished. May legit working CDK ka na para sa Windows mo. Gamitin ng aming code para makakuha pa ng discounts. Kaya kung naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software, Check out cdkeyoffers.com Not gonna lie, single tower fan designs all look the same to me and medyo ganun din yung AG400. If you've ever seen a CM Hyper 212, that's basically what all of these types of coolers look like. The AG400 does have RGB, so a little aesthetic flair to get excited about. And the tower has a dense fins arrangement we've seen in other new Deepcool coolers like the AK620. Deepcool calls it the Matrix Fin Array and it is quite distinctive compared to the coolers of other brands. The AJ400 is only 150mm tall which is shorter than any of its competitors. The Hyper 212 is 145 mm, the Be Quiet Pure Rock 2 is 155 mm, and the Noctua U12S Redux is 158 mm tall. The shortness of the AG400 is an advantage since that means it's more compatible in a lot of cases and builds. The AG620 is the beefier version of the AG400 with two towers, two fans, and six copper heat pipes. It also sports the matrix fin design and is tall at 157mm but it's still shorter than other big boy coolers like the NHD15, the Dark Rock Pro 4, or Deepcool's own AS500+. No RGB out of the box for this one, the two included 120mm fans are strictly all business. The LE500 is a no-frills AIO aimed at the entry-level market segment who really want the AIO look without breaking the bank. The included RGB is fixed so it only cycles through certain colors. It's not programmable. Deepcool has used this strategy before, notably in their cases such as the Matrex 43FS. 
The CPU block design has the same look as the higher-end LS series which we have reviewed before. Tama na paligoy ligoy, let's get to the numbers. As mentioned, gamit natin is an R5 5600, so mid-range CPU, cranked up to 100% load for 30 minutes. To add context, we also tested in the same setup, the stock cooler, since entry-level market, yun talaga yung tanong. Should I buy a third-party cooler, or can I stake it out with the stock? And for more context, we also tested the AS500 Plus, an excellent big boy cooler from Deepcool, to see how the new budget-friendly coolers stack up to a more expensive Deepcool cooler. The stock hit a high of 71 degrees and had an average of 69. These are not bad actually and well within the tolerances of the CPU and what you would expect from AMD's stock cooler which has always been decent. Pero PC guys are obsessed with temperatures. Marami sa audience natin, pag nakarinig lang na 7 sa temperatures, i.e. 70 degrees above, mag-alala na yan. Too hot na for their liking. The AS500 Plus obviously should do a lot better than the stock, and it did with a max temp of 57 degrees and an average temp of 56 degrees. A lot cooler than the stock, but surprisingly, dalawa sa budget coolers natin nakatalo sa kanya. At hindi pipitsugin tong AS500 Plus ah. We really liked it when we reviewed it before and often recommend it in the shop. So sino sa mga budget coolers natin ang nakatalo sa AS500 Plus? It wasn't the AG400 which to be fair posted decent numbers. The AG400 had a max temp of 60 degrees and an average temp of 59 degrees. Clearly much better than the stock and in the ballpark of what you would expect from a single tower, single fan cooler. The one that beat the AS500 Plus was the AG620, which had an impressive high temp of only 52 degrees. That's 19 degrees cooler than the stock and 5 degrees lower than the AS500 Plus. Average temp was a chill 50 degrees. Excellent performance from the AG620. Finally, we come to the LE500 and its numbers were quite decent. Medyo malayo yung variance niya between highest temp reached and its average. Usually those numbers are quite close, but its average temp is good at 54 degrees. Highest temp reached was 60 degrees, but personally I think this was just an uncommon spike that would not happen often. The LE500 beats the stock cooler, the AS500 Plus, and the AG400 and comes in only second to the AG620. Lots of numbers but I do want to emphasize that it's a little unfair to compare the three coolers head to head. Kasi syempre, the AG620 which is a lot beefier will have better performance than the AG400. Pero yung mahalaga yung overall trend which is quite clear. These are all excellent coolers for performance and especially performance on a budget. The two of them can beat the larger AS500 Plus is particularly noteworthy. So for the final numbers, all three coolers get 4 out of 5 candies. Excellent options for budget coolers. Which one you should get will depend on your budget as well as aesthetic preference. But performance-wise, Deepcool has done it again, delivering excellent cooling at an excellent price. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days, magkita tayo sa shop.